Listen to him. Hi, baby. <laughs> Peter Shannon is here from the Albuquerque Biopark. He is the uh, curator of birds at the Biopark. Great to meet you, Peter. Good to be here. Thank you for coming. What's in the bucket? Let's unveil our. Fans. I have a bird, a bucket of birds here. <laughs> bucket of birds. <laughs> bucket already. of birds. Oh my Hi, God. baby. Oh my gosh. Do you see what this is, everybody? Oh, come on out. Little baby <laughs> flamingos. There you go. These were. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. How old are they, Peter? The bigger one is about three and a half weeks old. The small one's about two and a half weeks. So they're about, oh a, about a week apart. We had, had the eggs, we hatched them in the incubator. And then when, once we hatched them, we have, obviously had to raise them. And I watch which direction he points, because uh -huh. he will get you. OK. Wouldn't so. be the first time I've been. Okay. <laughs> oh, but not like this. Um, so we're hand raising them because we couldn't leave them in the exhibit, because we have some predator problems out there at the zoo. So when we hatched them, we realized we'd have to hand raise them. So that's what we're doing. These are your babies. For now. So Peter, when do they turn pink? It takes about three years. These really? guys will take about two months to get up to normal height. Two months? Two months. And they'll be kind of white and brown and gray when they get that to that height. Uh -huh. Then over the next three years, through a series of molts, they start getting pinker and pinker. So they'll eventually be pink like the, adult, like, like the birds out there. In the what kind of things do you feed them? These guys, the adults are filter feeders. Mm -hmm. So if you come to the zoo and see the birds, they're out in the water filtering stuff out of the water. Sure. But when the chicks are being raised, the parents feed them a slurry from their crop. Oh, OK. So it's called pop milk. Uh huh. And what happens is the chick comes along and says, oh, feed me, feed me, feed me. And then the parents come along, and they touch bills. Okay. And the adults create this crop milk, and they drip it into the birds, the little, little guys' bills. Um, since I'm the surrogate mom, mm -hmm. um, we start them out that way in, in the zoo with a little syringe. But as they get bigger like this, <gasps> I am trying to fly away. <laughs> I, I will tube feed them because it's faster and cleaner. Uh -huh. So when we get fed, I've got this long rubber tube. I fill it up with stuff and run it down their throat, push it in, and we're done. It's, it's very quick that? and very clean. Wow, Peter. Oh, what a we're suddenly fascinating quiet. Fascinating creature. I don't know if you can tell. I, I fed him this morning. Right here at the bottom of the neck, there's kind of a little bulge. Uh -huh. That's where their crop is. So that's where all this liquid goodness comes it from. It just stays there. Yeah. And they do eventually fly, but they prefer to run? Or they, they, flamingos can fly. And do they um, swim too? Oh, they swim really well. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's fun to see them out in the water because they look like pink swans. Oh, cool. Because they just kind of paddle along. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. Sure, no, and, like no. the image of, of these guys in Key West. Yeah. But do they survive like in colder climates as there well? Are, there are six species of flamingos. There are some in South America that occur at 10,000, 12,000 feet. Okay. So they very, very high elevations where it gets Whoa. very, very cold. As long as the water doesn't freeze, they are fine. Okay. Now, now, when you watch the flamingos at the zoo, they love, it's a, quite a little society there. They yeah. like hanging out together, don't they? Flamingos are colonial species. Yes. So when you see them in the wild, and yeah. in zoo setting, but in the wild you see thousands of them at one time. Yeah. One of the interesting things about flamingo chicks, you, you hear them talking to us. Uh -huh. And I, when I talk to them, they, I go, huh? And they, they respond to me out, out there in the, in the zoo. What you do? But when they hatch, the parents have to be able to find the chicks. And what happens is they, the chicks gather in, what, gather in what's called a creche, big collection of, of chicks. Uh -huh. Mom and dad go off and feed, eat someplace else, and then come uh -huh. back. When mom and dad come back, they have to be able to find their chick because they only feed their one chick. So the chicks kind of babysit themselves. Yes. No, and then the no, adults go you off, get the food. It. Yep. Yeah. But when they does come back, they've got to do this. Hello, hello, hello. Where, where are come, you, Junior? Come feed me over here. We were waiting and for you. And they only feed their, their chick. They don't feed anybody else's chick in the flock. Sorry about your so, luck. You ate mine. So, so, <laughs> move so, along. So that's what they're doing right now. <laughs> wow. How cute. We Look were at these two. For and you they do pick things up on their own to eat. So that's what they're looking for. They're seeing images on the on the carpet here. And that's what you have to watch out for. What What's just going on over here? Oh. Oh, that. Yeah. Well. So, that's all right. Hi, baby. Your carpet got a little flamingo a poop going on it here. Happens. That's, we, yeah. It happens. Our rug was christened today. Mm -hmm. That's do okay. They, I don't know if you give them names sometimes. <laughs> you know you don't want to give them names, but do you have little names for these? Number one, number two. Number one, number two. <laughs> this is yes. just, do you have a lot of new birds, uh, baby birds at the zoo right now? 
Spring is always a busy time. Yeah. So we have the flamingo chicks. We have a sun conure chick that we're raising. Roadrunners. Um, a, a lower key that we're hand raising at the moment. What do a, what a little roadrunners look like? Are they? Do they they're really, really cute. Are they? Um, been... Everyone knows what a roadrunner looks like. Sure. But when they're small, when they first hatch, they're black and their eyes are closed. They can't see anything. Mm. So when they get fed by their parents, the, the nest shakes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're upstaging me. I know. Uh -oh. <laughs> But for the roadrunners, the nest would shake. I just like how Larry's so cool. <laughs> All those baby flamingos trying to Eat have, my a, shoe. have a little morning yeah. snack. Oh, their hands. Are just, I oh, would be jumping in your lap, Peter, if they come to our <laughs> Wow. This is so exciting. Back to roadrunners, real quick. The, the, the nest shakes, and the chick goes, <laughs> yeah. and mom and dad drop food into its bill. Oh, that's neat. So, Peter, so will, everybody has a different strategy for will food. Will members of the public be able to see number one and number two? Which yeah, their names are number one and number two, Dan. <laughs> That's what they're calling them. Our director's wanting Hi to guys. know their names. Now, they will peck you if I have my hand out. Right? <laughs> they might. I'm going to call them. They won't hurt. This one's hey. Biggin and that one's Littlein. Come here. Biggin and Littlein. Oh, you poor little thing. But they grow really you fast. Like, you like my shoe, don't you? <laughs> Within about two yeah. months, they'll be, they'll be full size. <laughs> now, they, they grow. We've seen them at the zoo, but they're about two feet tall, aren't they? Probably two and, a half. two and a half. They can stretch up to three, three and a half feet. Yeah. Why do they stand on one leg? Well, you know what I'm going to answer. I don't. Because if they pick up the other leg, they'd fall over. <laughs> <laughs> ba -dum -ba -dum -bums. Yes, right. <laughs> I've kind of walked into that one. <laughs> well, you see how you get got your leg tucked under, up under your leg? To here. protect themselves, to keep <laughs> them warm? It's comfortable. To keep it's them warm, maybe. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's, it's nice so to stand that way. Now one leg and rest the other one. For these youngsters here, oh, their feet are pretty big. Precious. Yep. They, they will grow into them. Yeah, I, I bet they will. Oh, Peter, this has uh, been fun. Um, thank you for bringing Unforgettable. The, these two little guys down um, to see us here on the Morning Brew. And that got up just for you. Thank you. Sure. Peter Shannon, curator of birds at the Albuquerque Bio Park, and number one and number two, baby flamingos here on the Morning Brew. We'll be back. That yeah. one's biggin' and that yeah. one's little. Yeah, you're famous.